Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart, and that people listen with their hearts. And Lord, help us not only to listen, help us to see. Sisters and brothers, today we hear about Bartimaeus, a blind man, and how he received his sight. Before anything else, mindfulness. Tignan mo nga yung katabi mo. First thing, mga kapatid, may mga tao po hindi nakakakita. Don't take that for granted. You can see. Tignan mo ulit yung katabi mo. Nakikita mo siya, no? Pero ang sarili mo, hindi mo nakikita. Our vision is limited. As I speak, I can see cars passing by. I can see people there. I cannot see myself. As I speak, you can see who is behind me. The beautiful tinted glass. You can see Father June. So, wala pong complete vision. Ano pong ibig sabihin nito? We need to realize that sight is not enough. For example, let's go deeper. Tignan mo ulit yung katabi mo. Mukhang malaking kita ba yan? May malaking kita siya? O maliit na kita? May mga tao po, malaki ang kita sa mundo. Pero walang pananaw, walang malasakit sa tao. Pera lang ang nakikita nila. Today, the Lord reminds us, it's not enough to have sight. You must have a vision. May pananaw ka, may mission ka. Tignan po yung nangyari. Maaring ikaw malaki ang kita pero wala namang pagtingin sa kapwa. Maaring ikaw malaki ang kita pero pera lang ang palagi mong nakikita. Siguro ikaw malaki ang kita pero maliit ang malasakit sa kapwa. For example mga kapatid, Typhoon, floods last week. How were you reacting to that? Iba-iba pong reaksyon. Mga iba ay binaha sila. Mabuti na lang kami hindi binaha. May mga ganun tao po. Ay salamat Lord. Excuse me. You're counting your blessings. But please don't forget to share your blessings. Mabu, ay salamat Lord, hindi kami tinamaan. O oh, okay kami, walang brown out. Ay, wow, wow. Lord, help us to see. May mga iba siguro, ay, binaha sila, kawawa naman sila. There, may puso na yun. Pero huwag kang hihinto sa puso. Kamay, have you done something to help them? To pray for them. Ito po yung worse, ha? Ay, binaha sila, belat, buti nga. May mga ganun po. Ang kitid ang pananaw. Or, ay, kasi ang gobyerno, ganito, ganito. Doon ka na naman. You are not really looking at it. Today in this Mass, Lord, help us to see. Help us to really not just see, but to feel and to have a heart. Yun ang true sight. Yun ang tunay na pagtingin. 
Tignan po nyo, what did Jesus do? Very interesting. Si Bartimaeus, naglalakad si Jesus, there was a blind man by the roadside. Very significant po nyo. Nasubukan nyo na bang umupo sa bangket, sa roadside, sidewalk. Yun lang dinadaan-daanan ka ng mga tao. Parang nakapa, napakali, you feel so small. Some people even look at you, misan sinisipa pa, they don't care. Parang ang baba po ng pagtingin. What did Jesus do? Jesus was passing by and He stopped. Hinintuan niya si Bartimaeus. Ang laking bagay na po yun, That Jesus stopped for him. Ang feeling niya wala siyang kakwenta-kwenta and yet Jesus stopped for him. Mga kapatid, may mga tao bang dinadaan-daanan mo lang? Ah, wala mga yan. May mga tao bang parang you don't even care that they exist? Please remember this. Every person is worth stopping for. Sana po ganun tayo. Marami sa atin, we have our business, our agenda, wala ko ngayon, wala, wala. Pero ang importante, my life is what is important. Please keep that in mind. Every person is worth stopping for. Mindfulness lang po. Like may madaanan po kayo nagbukas ng pinto na security guard. Thank you po. Thank you, sir. Yung waiter na nagdala ng pagkain. Thank you, sir. Yung mga nagluto doon sa, sa kitchen, nagpakahirap. Yung pinas. Every person is worth stopping for. Oh, by the way, malapit na naman ang undas. Marami sa atin, at this time of the year, we go to the cemetery. Minsan lang sa isang taon. Gano kadalas ang minsan lang. The rest of the year, we hardly care, don't care for them. Please start that in your family. Baka mayroon kang kasama sa bahay na you don't even care. You don't even greet. Parang wala lang siya. Please don't do that. Make people know that you care for them. That they matter to you. Jesus stopped for Bartimaeus. Jesus saying, May halaga ka. Hindi ka basta-basta. Hindi ka just-just. I am here for you. Number two, tignan po nyo. Jesus called him. Pinatawag niya si Bartimaeus. They called him. Binigyan niyang important siya. Si Bartimaeus. Uy, halika na. Tinatawag ka na ni boss. Pinagalitan pa siya eh. Tumahimik ka na dyan kasi yun na. But Jesus called him. Yung pagtawag po sa bahay ha. Huwag na. Ay, ay halika. May pangalan po yung mga tao. Banggitin mo nga yung pangalan ng katabi mo. Yun. Kamusta? <laughs> pangalan naman. Dito sa Pilipinas, may nagbibinta ng balot. Hoy, balot, halika nga. Ganun. The name is very important when you call. Number three, tinanong ni Jesus siya. What do you want me to do for you? Anong gusto mong gawin ko para sa iyo? Wow. Imagine Jesus asking. Hindi sinabi ni Jesus, "Etong gawin ko, etong dapat ka ganyan, 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 ganyan." No. Jesus respected Bartimaeus. May iba sa atin we don't respect. Basta itong gusto ko, dapat ito ganito. Tapos na. Maraming pulit ko. Hindi tinatanong anong kailangan. Basta itong gagawin ko, dapat ganito tayo. Ayos na yan. Plansyado na lahat. Basta ma-election, okay na ako. 
we don't even really ask the people. Respect them. And third, ito po maganda. The Lord said to Bartimaeus, Go your way. Go na. Your faith has saved you. He empowered this lowly person. Binigyan niya ng importansya at binigyan niya ng mission. Sisters and brothers, sana po matuto tayo to learn that every person has worth, may halaga, bawat tao po may importansya. Hindi kailangan ng titulo, basta tao, tao. At bawat tao po may mission. Bawat tao ay mayroong halaga. Please apply that, not only to yourself, but to others as well. Wala sanang taong feeling niya napakaliit niya sa harap mo. Kasi pinaramdam mo sa kanya na mas magaling ka, mas may otoridad ka, at sumisigaw ka pa, nagmumura ka pa. Let's not do that, mga kapatid. Ito pong napakagandang ginawa ni Jesus. Ginawa niyang bida yung maliit na tao. Hindi siya ang bida. Madalas po, feeling natin, tayo dapat ang bida. Paalala rin po ulit yung three C's for parents, those in authority. Ulitin ko po, I said this before, yung mga bata, bata pa sila, parents, ikaw ang controller. You control. They don't know what's happening. So, dapat ito, ganito. Fine. Lumaki na yung bata, dapat ikaw coach na lang. Pag lumaki yung bata, controller ka pa rin, eh, may conflict na. What does a, con- does a control do? He commands. What does the coach do? He suggests. Baka pwede dito, ganito na lang, ganito na lang, anak, ganun. Teenager na, 20, 30 years old na yung anak mo, kinokontrol po pa rin, pati love life niya, pati anong dapat. You have to learn to grow up. And number three, the third C, consultant ka na lang. Kung tatanungin ka, you can direct suggest. Maybe that's how we should learn how to respect. Jesus respected this man, blind man, on the roadside. Dapat tayo rin po sa isa't isa. Sa mga kapatid, it's interesting today, the Lord asks us, the Lord asks you, what do you want me to do for you? Could you please bow your head? The Lord is asking you now, Anak, oh, what do you want me to do for you? Tell him. He is asking you. Tell him and believe in his sincerity. Tinatanong ka niya. At tayo, like Bartimaeus, we repeat what Bartimaeus said. Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Maawa po kayo sa akin. Dagdag na natin, Jesus, son of David, maawa po kayo sa aming bayang Pilipinas. Sana po, no more calamities. Bagyo, wag na po. Kung pwede lang po, tama na po, natural calamities. At kung pwede lang po, wala ng political calamities, kalamidad na naman sa politiko. Hirap na hirap na po ang ating bayan. And today, tell the Lord, like Bartimaeus, Lord, I want to see. Help me to see mga pagkukulang ko. Help me to see my mistakes. 
my bad habits, my blind spots. Help me to see my pride, my selfishness, at mababago ko po sana. Help me to see my worth, na in spite of everything, mahal pa rin niyo kami. And help me to see my mission ng buhay ko, may rason. And Lord, please help me to see your presence, especially in my pain, my suffering, and in my problems, and in my sins. Help me to see you. Mga kapatid, our God is a God who respects us, who asks us, and who loves us. So mga kapatid, sana po lumawak ang ating pananaw, lumalim ang ating pagmamahal, at ang ating malasakit habang tayo'y nabubuhay. Amen and amen. By the way, we lost our Bishop Arturo Bastes SVD, former Bishop of uh, Romblon and Sorsogon. He was here last week. Nagbigay pa siya ng talk sa Sacred Heart Kamuning. In the evening, umuwi siya sa bahay ng kapatid niya sa Kainta. Next morning, Ginigising siya, 6.30 nung ginigising siya, Bishop Bastes has gone home to his creator. Wow, mission accomplished, dear Bishop. What a way to go. Parang natulog lang siya, pagbukas ng mata niya, nasa langit na siya. He died in his sleep. And that is our prayer. Son the Lord, someday we will see you face to face in heaven. Where there are no more tears, no more pain, no more problems. One thing about Bishop Bastes, brilliant, one of the most brilliant minds in our society. He had a photographic memory, according to stories, when he defended his thesis, and he was asked, philosophy thesis, a question, sabi niya sa the examiner, Father, if you look at my thesis, page 70, paragraph 2, sentence number 3, you will see the answer. Ganun po, kabrilyan. An eloquent preacher, when he talks, parang buhay na buhay, lahat. But you know what I admire most in this bishop, this SBD conference? He had the mind, he could speak, but he had more than anything, he had a heart. A happy heart. A kind heart. Yun siguro ang hingin natin, hindi lang yung nakikita ng mata, kundi yung nakikita ng puso. And last October 25, I was, I became a uh, 44 years anniversary as a priest. 44. Thank you. Simple lang po sa akin. Grateful at 44. Salamat po. I became a priest. I am still a priest in spite of me. My ordination prayer, you have called me Lord not so much because of me, but in spite of me. The Lord called me and still continues to call me. Kahit ano pa mang mga pagkukulang ko. And just be grateful. You have called me, O oh Lord, not so much to become a somebody, but to be a someone. To you and to your people. Someone to God. Prayer life. Kung walang someone to God, we're empty. And be a someone to people. Not so much of functions, positions. Importante po, we connect with people. And maybe I'd like to share with you one last point. Gem. Inuulit ko po. I summarize now my priesthood as a gem. It's a gift, precious, but gem means 
God encounter moments. Everything I do should be an encounter with God, with the people. Ang dami kang ginawa, pero hindi naman nila naramdaman si Lord. Ang dami kang sinabi, hindi naman nila naramdaman si Lord. What is that? So my priesthood simply is God encounter moment. And all of us are gems. God encounter maker. Tignan mo yung katabi mo. Gem ba yan? Pisil-pisilin mo nga kung gem siya talaga. Ayan. God encounter maker. Lahat po tayo. We should make the presence of God felt. Make God alive in our own way, whatever way. So sisters and brothers, maraming salamat po sa prayers, support, understanding ninyo para sa aming mga pari. Thank you. And fast forward, All Saints Day, November 1. Tignan mo nga yung katabi mo ulit. Palagay mo kaya may pag-asang maging santo yan? Potential saint, malay natin. Sabi mo, sa akin na lang yung panyo mo para may relic na ako. Ito po, one of the best advice I received before my ordination. I had a general confession, sinabi ko na lahat. And the old priest just looked at me and said, I never forgot this. Jerry, just remember this. There is no sinner without a future. There is no saint without a past. Lahat ng may kasalan, ng makasalanan, may hinaharap pa yan. Hope. At lahat ng mga santo, mga naging santo, may pinagdaanan din yung mga yan. What more can we say? And, fast forward, November 2 ay All Souls Day. Mga kapatid, simple lang pong paalaala. Tignan mo ulit yung katabi mo. Ngayon, ay to ay kayo. Darating ang panahon, hindi na kumpleto. Sarado na ang mata ng isa sa inyo. What is the message? We all will die. Life is short. Death is certain. So number one, do not postpone your conversion. Now na, again, please tell the Lord, Lord, mahal ko po kayo. Patawad po. As for me and for my house, we will serve you, Lord. And number two, do not postpone your loving. Sana po, wala tayong pagsisisi at the end that we loved too little, too late. Sisters and brothers, let me end with a little poem. One little rose. As you pray for our loved ones, please remember the people who are still with you. And the poem says, I'd rather have one little rose from the garden of a friend than to have the choicest flowers when my life has come to an end. I'd rather hear a pleasant word said to me now than flattery when my heart is still and my life has ceased to be. I'd rather see a loving smile from friends whom I know are true than tears shed around my casket when this world I bid a Jew. So, bring me all your flowers today, whether pink or white or red. I'd rather have one blossom now one little rose now than a truckload when I'm dead. One little rose. Tignan mo ulit yung katabi mo. 
and tell the person beside you again, I'm happy you're here. Happy you're still alive. Happy we are together. In Jesus' name, amen.